to experimental cooking. Today I am cooking dill stuffed mushrooms. You can find the link to the recipe in the description below. Today it asks for 24 large fresh mushrooms, 2 tablespoons of sliced green onions, 2 tablespoons of butter, quarter cup of fine dry breadcrumbs, half teaspoon of dried dill weed, some salt, and an eighth of a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. These were the biggest mushrooms I could find in the store without them being the ginormous ones. There's a little bit less than 24, but it still seemed to work out perfect. First step is to remove the stems from the mushrooms and then chop the stems. It was pretty easy to just pull them right on out. Then I rinsed all the mushrooms out to make sure they were clean and ready for cooking. Once those were done, I chopped up the stems and the green onions. It says to leave the tops, but I'm not exactly sure what that means. So I just cut the green onions like I usually do. Time to cook. I put in the green onions and mushrooms, let that cook. Yum, yum, yum. Then the breadcrumbs. The dill, the salt, and the Worcestershire sauce. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but oh well. <laughs> Once that was all done, I took it off the heat and added them to the mushroom. It seemed like a really dry mixture, but I kind of just assumed that's how it was meant to be. There was barely any Worcestershire sauce in there, or dill. So I was wondering if I'd actually be able to taste either one of them. There was just enough for my 15 mushrooms. Good thing I didn't do 24. I decided to add some cheese because the pictures on the recipe shows them with cheese on them. I'm glad I did. I stuck them in the oven for about seven minutes or so, and voila! They had decent flavor. I added more salt because it seemed a little bit bland, but otherwise it tasted really good. I couldn't really taste the dill, which is kind of sad because the name of the recipe is dill stuffed mushrooms. So I would suggest maybe adding a little bit more dill. The mushrooms were pretty slimy, so I don't know if there's a way to fix that, but otherwise it was pretty good. All right, thanks everybody for watching. If you have a recipe you'd like me to try, put the link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. All right, everybody, have a great day.